Hello, my lovelies. Today we're going to talk about divining with the cards and how to use them in your daily life. What I do is I do um, a couple of things with myself when I'm just trying to stay on point with my cards to keep me aware, keep me awake, and keep me connected into what I need to do. Sometimes it's fun, and but most of the time it does give me um, confidence. It gives me clarity. It can give me... Um, a key signal that I need to be aware of and it doesn't hurt to just pull a card or two or three to get things going so I have three different ways in which I do it and I recommend to people one is a one card spread one is a two card spread and one is a three card spread okay when you're doing a spread to just to get your day started you want to be focused on some sort of a point of intent. So it comes down to this. The purpose of the one card spread is to answer a question. So if you have a meeting today, or you have someone you're gonna, gonna connect with, or you have a proposal to give, or you have something that's on your mind, you know, your boss is coming and you wanna make sure it's gonna go well, or maybe you wanna know if the fight is gonna come to a solution and you're, you're with, your, with your love interest, you ask your question, you pull a card. And what you're looking for is the energy of the card is not going to tell you yes or no unless you have cards that say yes or no right you're going to have the energy of the cards what you're looking for is what is the energy of the card so for example if i asked a question and this card that i pulled it says it's unikite and it's answered prayers there's nothing much more positive than this card in terms of a yes or a no right so if you're just looking for yes or no, the perfect card for you, the perfect solution for you is a one card spread. Just one card, just pull a card. Don't pull cards 16 times. Pull a card, take the answer and move forward, okay? Now the two card spread helps get a little more direction, a little more clarity. And I recommend that when you're nervous or you're concerned so that you can get a little bit more, you're wanting to get information about a specific interaction with a specific person. So if I had something that was going on and I wanted to know, you know what's going on with this, unnecessary worries, ready to love again, pretty positive, right? Pretty positive message, but what's interesting about these two cards is they speak to releasing and letting go. Both of them do, right? Unnecessary worries, stop worrying, ready to love again, ready to let go and let somebody else into my life. So it doesn't necessarily mean that I'm asking about a person or a loved one. I could be asking about a job. I could be asking about a, a paper, a term paper, and it's giving me the guidance to let go of worry. It's giving me the guidance to let go of the situation. It's in God's hands now. So I would see this again as a very positive, um, re a very positive answer, not necessarily a yes, but a let go, right? which would be helpful if you were obsessed or upset about something, right? Very good. For your three card spread, it gives you kind of a themed message. And I like to do three card spreads, you know, not every day, it's a lot of work. Um, I put them up on the, on the internet for you guys and hope that you guys enjoy them. But for yourself, I recommend one or two cards. Three cards are a good way if you're really in a really focus situation you want to get an answer get real clarity maybe you're up against a tough deadline three card spread is always good with the three card spread it's a it's a reading you know it's a small reading it's a short reading so all the cards come together to give you a full message so like in in this in this um spread i have here i have spiritual religious community angel light i have be gentle with yourself and I have control issues so there is a message here right there's a message about coming together with a with a religious community or coming with a greater connection to yourself spiritually being gentle with yourself taking care of yourself not being so hard on yourself and then control that which you can control and let go of that which you cannot control this is a really powerful message. If I'm upset about something, if I focus on something, if I think somebody's mad at me, if I think that something's happening, we get caught up in that kind of stuff a lot. So when you're going to do a three card spread, hear the message, see the message, and then use that as a tool. It's not an absolute. It's just a tool. 
All right. I hope that was helpful. And I'm looking forward to engaging with you at the next three-card spread. I hope you have a fabulous day. Thank you for dropping by. Ciao, ciao.